Welcome to the Barry Charles Footy Show, your one-stop shop for everything rugby league. Yes, another car video for you today. Now, JWH is going to fight his charges as well as Corey Horsburgh. Are there any chance of getting off? I don't think so. Um, Jared could be looking at seven or eight weeks out now. Craziness. I just don't understand it. He did a head, but he... Nah, just, it's just craziness. A head-eye shot. I mean... If it gets off this, I'll be absolutely stunned. Um, now, the question mark for fans at home, is he a liability at the Roosters? You betcha. Yep, he's absolutely a liability. If he's going to be out for that long going into next season, is it worth cutting ties and he ends up in the Super League? Whether he wants to do that, I'm not sure. But the Roosters are probably thinking that in the background. Is that what we need to do? Um because there was looks at a possible retirement, but whether he wants to continue to play overseas is another question. Um, unfortunately, he can be one of the greatest guys off the field, but on the field sometimes he just sees red, and like he did in craziness when the game was already won and dusted. Like um, yeah, it's disappointing for um, himself really, um, but it has been commonplace with him over the years that on the field sometimes he gets it wrong which has cost them big time and it's kind of cost the Roosters any chance in this final series and it might cost them this week coming up. With also, um, obviously, the Trail Mitchell out um, could prove costly with Blake Taff coming in. Um, yeah, but obviously um, Cameron Murray's signature has obviously helped, will this help galvanise the group going into the big game on Friday night at ACOR? Um, you'd hope so. Um, Ro Roosters are going to be out with Joey Manu um, and Jared Rhea Hargraves. It's going to be an interesting combination here. James Tedesco back. Um, all the form would say Roosters are going to win this game. But I just got a funny feeling bounce back factor and the Rabbitohs could bounce back. And Rabbitohs have had the wood over the Roosters lately. So that's going to be an interesting battle there. Cody Walker obviously has to get back to his best if there are any hope of doing great in this final series. Um, yes, um, but for what about Raiders fans? Yes, let's have a look at each team going into the finals. Yes, let's have a look right here, right now. Let's have a look at the scenarios to play out a little bit too. Let's see what what can happen. So we've got Broncos, top of the table. They beat the Storm. They play Storm next week. So simple as that. If the Storm get it, um, Broncos get it done, they'll play Storm in week one of the finals. If they lose, then it can open a can of worms and they could either still play Storm or they could play the Warriors. So one of those two is going to factor there into that. Because even if the Storm win, the Warriors could win and the Penrith could lose and we'll still have the same order that we have this week. So there's all that scenario there. Um, but yeah, so Broncos likely to be top of the table. I would say they'll beat the Storm, but there's... With no Reynolds, um, but there's no Jerome Hughes on the other side, so that probably nuts that one out. So it's going to be an interesting game, and if there's any more players gets rested for this round, it's a big game. Um, but the Broncos going forward to win the comp, Adam Reynolds has to play for mine. Um, yeah, um, they have to beat the Storm twice more than likely, straight off, and then have a bye, and then potentially play someone like the Warriors. Um, yeah, so Broncos are very much in the box seat, and you want to be in the box seat. You want to be in the, you want to get that preliminary final, and it doesn't matter how they rest. So that's what they'll be aiming for, and they'll be expect. All Broncos fans should be expecting the Broncos to make the grand final. Um, but Storm are well for Ryan Papenhausen, What they do this week? Do they start him at fullback? Well, you're going to find out later today. We'll obviously talk about it. Um, or does he continue to stay on the bench? That's going to be a big talking point into their future. So that's the way that one goes. But Broncos, nothing less than a grand final has to be the aim. Penrith Panthers, looking for their fourth grand final in a row and three grand finals on the trot. So um, they play the Cowboys. Simple as this. If the Broncos lose and they win, they are top of the table. If they both win, Penrith will stay um, second, and if it's a draw, I mean, if it's a, if they lose, they'll be second. So Penrith more than likely are going to be second, because I have a funny feeling they're going to rest players this week, um, as they've done previously. 
it looks like they'll continue to um, do their philosophy that gives the Cowboys a big chance and um, we'll get to that um, later oh well, once we'll get to it now the Cowboys um, basically are pushing for eighth spot um, that's pro well, they could get seventh maybe but uh, more than likely they're just pushing for eighth spot um, they need to win um, this is just simple as that they need to win they win they're in as simple as that um, you know, well, there is a little bit of conjecture that they, um, if the Raiders win so it's not as simple as that but if Cowboys win more than likely they will be in but they actually want the Roosters to beat the Rabbitohs or they want the Raiders to lose to the Sharks that's that's the scenarios out there um, for Cowboys fans for a win they could still maybe not make that but more than likely if they win they'll do it so Cowboys just have to focus on winning the game and let's go to the Warriors. Yes, they've got the Dolphins to finish. Um, I think a lot of people, are, are, and I agree, I think maybe they need to rest some players this week. Do they give Fanua Black a break? It looks like they might give Tohu Harris a break. Um, do they want to possibly give up? But um, the, the thing they've got in their hands is that the Storm and the Broncos play earlier in the week. So they can list quite a few people here and then rest some players. Do you give Johnson the week off to just freshen up? Um, but the but the big talking point with Tamari Martin coming in, do they? Um, Sean Johnson them haven't played for a while, so you probably want them to play. So maybe Sean Johnson will play, but I think he could give Fanua Blake, Tohu Harris, Wade Egan, get these guys nice and fresh for the finals. Anyone else has a few bumping injuries, just let them rest. I mean, the Dolphins could beat them, yes, but they're more than likely going to get food anyway. If they get fourth, they do. I think it's a good time to rest some of their players so they are fighting for because they looked a bit pedestrian the Warriors over the last couple of weeks they've been winning games but they haven't blown a team out of the park and maybe a rest would be helpful getting ready for the big game so Warriors in their best interest for me would be resting players um, the Storm, Melbourne Storm yes, can get as high as food or stay fourth um, the Storm are another predicament do they rest players as well um, Pippen Housen should come back in um, I think Pepe Nelson's just got to play fullback. I think that's what they need to do. Put him a fullback. Maybe give Nick Meany the, um, this game off to get get rest and make sure they've got all their players fully fit. I'd rest Munster. I, th I think that's what they should do. I think a lot of these teams just need to rest players. Penrith have proven that it's the right thing to do. It might not always be the right thing to do with some players, um, teams, but... I think when you get to this time of the season, you want to have the best, strongest team. And the injuries from last week prove that just having that rest will be helpful for these teams. So I would put them in with a big chance here. Um, but yeah, the Storm, they're clearly a chance. Um, getting back to the, sorry, I didn't really talk about Penrith Grand Final. Definitely. definitely. Um, from here, the Warriors preliminary final, at worst, is what they, they'll be expecting. I mean, they should be, same with the Storm. A um, preliminary final. If they get knocked out before then, you'd be disappointed in this season. Um, so, but I mean, they can clearly win the grand final. Obviously, Pappenhausen will be key to that. Warriors are Sean Johnson, Fanua Blake, they, and Tohu Harris. They're really this, those are the three keys, and you can add DWC to that. But yeah, the the concerns you have for the Warriors is that the the um, defensively sometimes they're a bit off. Um, the ill discipline. And the knock-ons, that could be what costs them making the grand final. We will find out. Hopefully I'm proved wrong, because I'd like to see them there. Um, the Storm, Pappenhausen, is he going to be fully fit enough to help change this team enough to be a real contender to be penal for the Broncos? Um, at this stage, it doesn't look likely. He's going to have to really bounce up there. Um, the Knights are flying into fifth, and probably more than likely will stay fifth. Um, While well, they could come on, because they should win their next game. Um... I'll be just resting all the players I can for the Knights. Um, you're guaranteed to, regardless if you lose the game, you're going to be playing fifth or sixth. Um, I would be resting the players, getting them ready for um, football. Kalen Ponga, surely he's got to be rested. I would leave Hastings out again. Let's get ourselves ready. Let's get ourselves fit. Adam Clune's doing the job. Let's re let's re rest Safiti. Let's rest some of these key players in the team and be ready for week one of the finals. That's what I'll be doing with the Knights. The Knights, um, well, I suppose on the roll there, people would say preliminary final. So, yes, you could say that. But um, a pass mark would get past the first week of the finals.
obviously if they don't get past the first week of the finals it's probably disappointing considering the run they've been on so yeah the Knights with a home game should be expecting to win but it depends who they play yeah they did beat the Rabbitohs but if the Rabbitohs sneak up there it's going to be an interesting um, thing here um, the Rabbitohs, Roosters, Cowboys do you want to be playing these teams um, whoever gets an 8th spot could just be an absolutely giant killer for their team that comes 5th so it's going to be interesting there um, six, um, the Sharkies, well, they, they're in finals football regardless if they win or lose uh, with their for and against, but they could drop down to about, yeah, drop down to seventh. I don't think they can get any worse than that. Um, but yeah, it's a home semi. Them and the Raiders are playing for a home semi in week one. Whoever does that will get through, um, get to the home semi. They could play each other in the next round. I don't think. There's a possibility that they have, but it's unlikely to happen because the Sharks will probably end up sixth anyway. And the Raiders could drop down to eighth, so they'll play the Knights. So, um, there's an interesting fact is here the Raiders can either be eighth or they're out. I mean, well, sixth, highest is fifth, but I'm um, more than likely sixth if they win. And I'm um, taking on probably the Sharks. Yeah, if they uh, Raiders, they're more than likely to play. So, so you got the Storm and the Broncos possibly playing each other, and the Raiders Sharks will play each other again. Um, and then the Rabbitohs, Roosters, Cowboys fighting for that eighth spot there. There's a possibility if the Raiders win. But if the Raiders lose, the Raiders can drop right out completely. Yes, if the Cowboys win, Roosters and the Rabbitohs, one of them are going to win. And they lose, they drop out altogether, out the back door, ninth. That's the danger for the Raiders fans out there. So they can just win and be happy if they lose. Well, they're going to know they're fake because it's the last game of the season. So they're either going to know they're in already or they have to win the game. So it's going to be an interesting one. Um, but this is probably the only two teams that can't rest players because it's a big game to get that home semi. It's an absolutely huge game. I wouldn't be resting any players in this game. They need to win this to get to the home semi. Whoever wins out the Sharks and Raiders will probably win the next week as well, getting that home semi. But anyway, that's me from the Barry Charles Footy Show. Um, hope your team does well this weekend. Obviously, um, the Rabbitohs, I'm sorry, we've got to talk about the Rabbitohs and the Cowboys um, and the Roosters. They're all chances of making the top eight. Um, can they get past week one in the finals? It's probably debatable, but um, it's um, because more than likely they're all going to get eighth and they're going to probably be playing the Knights. Um, so and the way the Knights are playing... I mean, these teams can do it, don't get me wrong. On their day, Roosters, Rabbitohs, and Cowboys. But if you've been honest with yourselves, are they playing better than the Knights at the moment? That question is no. Um, so that, that's a question mark. But if if they're having to play the Sharks, say the Sharks win, because this is what will happen, Raiders will drop down to eighth, then Sharks and the Rabbitohs and the um the Roosters or the Cowboys, you would think they'll beat the Sharks, in my opinion. So it's a bit of a, it's a yeah, it's a more important game, yeah. It's, yeah, so I don't know if the Sharks want to win or lose, to be honest, because they're going to end up playing, they'd probably rather play the Raiders than play any of those other three teams, possibly, you could argue. Um, so interesting times here. But anyway, that's the Barry Charles British Show. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll be back with another video soon.